Welcome back to my channel, everyone! Today I will show you my trip to a Braudersol, the former estate of the royal family, the place where the history of Russian sparkling wine begins. We will drink a lot of sparkling wine in this video. I will also tell you some interesting facts about this little extraordinary town. And I will show you so much beauty in this video that will definitely make you want to visit Abraudurso after watching it. Alright, we just checked in into this apartment that we rented for two nights. And to be honest with you, I'm so happy to be here right now because for some time uh, we were thinking that this apartment was a scam and uh, it turned out it's not so i'm really happy to be here it's a nice uh, three bedroom apartment very clean in a very nice location the overall price of the apartment was seven thousand rubles for two nights and today we are gonna take it easy it's basically like the arrival day and we are really tired we woke up at 4 30 a.m and uh, it's like 3 p.m. now and we are very tired so we're gonna go do grocery shopping quickly and gonna come back and cook our lunch and then we're gonna walk around the lake on sunset and nothing major today just a chill day because we have two more days that will be full of events but i will have a glass of uh, sparkling wine today and that's probably it so i'll see you later morning everybody yesterday Sonia and I had a spectacular evening in a Braudurso and I didn't film anything yesterday I decided to take that day to rest because I was deadly tired after the ride I'm starting to film everything for you today I have two more full days here and today we have two very exciting things we're starting from a trip to a wine factory we're gonna learn about how they produce the wine with a wine tasting at the end, of course. And later today, we're gonna ride a retro bus around the vineyards of Abrao Durso. So that's the plan for today. And uh, right now we came for breakfast and instead of coffee, I got a glass of sparkling wine because I'm in Russia's capital of wine. And so far I can say for sure that I'm absolutely in love with Abrao Durso. And I'm glad I have two more days to stay here and experience this town even more. This town is just incredible. And let me show you uh, my breakfast view. I got draniki with salmon and smoked sour cream. I'm not sure what smoked sour cream is, but whatever. Uh, draniki is sort of like hash browns, but Russian style, a very popular dish here. Mm, it's really good. It's amazing. already had breakfast and now Sonia and I are walking around this beautiful lake Abrao and to be honest with you it's so hard to walk around right now it's 12 p.m. and it's super hot it's only possible to be outside after 5 p.m. so we are looking for some shady place where we can survive one hour before our wine tasting while we are looking for a place to hide from the Sun I want to tell you a little bit about this lake Lake Abrao is the largest freshwater body of water in Krasnodar Krai, which is 3 kilometers long and 630 meters wide. Since 1979, the lake was recognized as a unique natural landmark, so the use of motorboats is prohibited here. Only paddle boats, catamarans and a steamboat are allowed. Right in the middle of the lake, you can see the Rainbow Fountain, which is a reduced copy of the famous Swiss fountain Jido installed in the Lake Geneva. 
Because of its beautiful landscapes, and particularly because of this fountain, Abraudersö is often called a little Russian Switzerland. On that side of the lake, you can see a lot of these uh, little wooden houses. These are for ducks to lay their eggs, and in one of the houses I saw a couple of eggs already. We are also debating where we want to take a catamaran or a boat or something like that. I haven't seen boats that we actually want to take. There are many variety, but I definitely don't want to ride the paddles in such heat. From what I read online, you're not supposed to swim in this lake. Ouch! <laughs> it's not allowed, but as you can see, people are swimming fine. And I mean, if you can't swim, just swim. But after seeing so many people swimming, I looked it up again and it became even more confusing. So, since the water in the lake is very clean and meets the sanitary standards, it's absolutely harmless for swimming. But according to the law, you can only swim in places designated for this type of recreation. And since the Lake Abrao doesn't have a single beach equipped for swimming, officially you cannot swim in it. But unofficially you can, at your own risk. And you can also swim in this lake officially, if you for example rent a paddleboard and swim in the lake that way. Here is the wine tasting factory that we're going to right now and one adult ticket costs 1500 rubles if you want to do the wine tasting. If you don't want to do the wine tasting, it will only be 1200 rubles for one person. So let's go! This is the oldest champagne factory in Russia that was founded by the order of Emperor Alexander II in 1870. The head of the plant at that time was Lev Galitsyn, who became known as the father of Russian champagne and the chief winemaker of Russia. After more than 25 years since the factory was founded, the first 16,000 bottles of sparkling wine were produced. The constant growth of the production was only interrupted by the Great Patriotic War. The building itself and part of the tunnels were destroyed, but by 1960 the factory was completely reconstructed and it was producing almost 1.8 million bottles per year. Today, Abrao Durso is a leading Russian manufacturer of sparkling wines produced by both the classic bottle and the tank methods. The wines are stored in the winery cellar, which is 50 meters deep and 5 kilometers long. The cellars are kept at a certain temperature in order to age the sparkling wine. The workers take a proper care of the bottles and their aging. They have to flip the bottles frequently to prevent sedimentation. This process is performed exclusively by women. They turn almost 20,000 bottles every day. All bottles that you see around are real, with real wine inside, which will soon be on the shelves of many stores across the country. And when we were on our way to the wine tasting, we walked even further into the depths of the factory, where we saw and learned even more secrets of the wine production. Now, the best part of the excursion starts. We were the last ones who entered the tasting room. Since I was too busy filming everything around, as always, Sonia and I couldn't sit together, unfortunately. There, we got to taste four samples of Abrao Durso sparkling wines and one bitter tincture. By the way, Sonia is 18, so she can already legally drink alcohol in Russia. So, I've tried some sparkling wine from Abrao Durso before this trip, and I never liked it. Although here, I liked every wine we tasted. As it turns out, I just tried the wrong kinds before, and I can assure you that this wine is actually quite good if you stick to the dry types. And then, at the end, we tried the tincture, also by Abrao Durso. It's called Seven Vegetables. If you think that you would like the taste of Russian borscht mixed with vodka, then most likely you would love this tincture. And here you can see how much I loved it. We 
we came after our wine tasting, which was the best part of the excursion. That's the kind of excursions I like. And I'm so drunk. I don't know how Sonia is like handling her well. She's like not even drunk at all, and I don't know why. I drink a lot more than she and I'm does. I'm proud of this. And I'm like barely even like handling myself there. So we're just chilling for five minutes after our wine tasting, and then we're gonna prepare our lunch and go to another excursion. And then excursion will last only for like one hour, so at 6 p.m. we're gonna be free and it's the perfect time to walk around the lake and we are gonna do that of course so i will see you guys later Then we went on a tour by a retro bus that stops at the main viewpoints of the town. Setra S7 is a German bus made in 1959, but it's still alive and running. The first stop was the Durso observation point, where we finally managed to look at the lake from above, since someone still doesn't own a drone. The second stop was the wine grower's house, where we were able to walk through the vineyards, even though it was only for five minutes. We started our excursion on a retro bus, but it's basically just like a transportation that takes you to three observation points. And this is the second one. As you can see, I'm standing next to the vineyard. And yes, I changed my outfit and it looks very appropriate for this place because my skirt looks like champagne. <laughs> And the last stop was the Ecologia viewpoint, from which you can observe the stunning view of the Black Sea. So, we're done with our bus trip. Did you like it, Sonia? Yeah, but it was fast. I... <laughs> it was okay. I cannot say that I'm too impressed. It was all right, but uh, I felt like everything was really fast. It was one and a half hour excursion, but on each observation point we were only for like five minutes and it's not enough to fully enjoy the place. And most of the time you're spending while uh, by driving inside the car, which is whatever and a bit hot. But I'm not disappointed. I'm still glad we did it because we got an opportunity to see the lake from the top. And now if we want to visit one of the places we visited today again, we can do it tomorrow by taking a taxi or something. So overall, I'm glad we did it. And it was only a thousand rubles. And right now we want to come back to the place we were yesterday uh, for another glass of sparkling wine. You know guys, in this city they talk about wine everywhere, like on this excursion, on the bus, uh, before, you see champagne bottles everywhere. They talk about it so tasty and so delicious that all you want to do is just drink sparkling wine here. So this is exactly what we're gonna do right now.
time I look at this monument, I wonder what is the purpose of it. It's the glasses, but like in Abrao Durso, what is it supposed to mean? We are now walking around Abrao Durso, and this is the best time to walk around because it's not hot anymore, finally and everything is lighted up and it's just so beautiful we are not the only ones who think that because look how many people there is in the evening this is the wine factory outside and its wall looks like bubbles <laughs> how cute here is one of the nicest restaurants of Abrao Durso it's called Gran Café Abrao and that's where we plan to have our final dinner tomorrow with Sonia this place reminds me of Christmas market, isn't it? Oh my god, I just realized that it's Christmas soon and I'm so not ready for it. Look guys, I'm drinking something other than sparkling wine on this trip. Cheers! This is my favorite outfit from here. I literally look like champagne. <laughs> In the evenings, there is a fun laser show of singing fountains on Lake Abrao. During the season, the show is performed twice a night, at 9 and 10 pm, and each session lasts for 25 minutes. The fountains flow to classical and modern pop music, and you can watch the show directly from the promenade or rent a boat. I think this fountain show is a great way to end the day in a browder soul. So right after it was over, Sonia and I went straight home. And of course, for dinner, we're having my signature salad. Are you surprised? Good morning, guys. Now we are starting our last day in Abrao Durso, and first thing, we're gonna go for breakfast. We literally have the best location of our apartment. This is the stair that goes down to the concentration of everything, right to the wine factory. And right there, this is the house that we're staying in. So all you need to do is just uh, go down the stairs. It's a lot of stairs actually, so if you're an old babushka, it might be a little challenging for you, but for us it's perfect. We came to the same restaurant again for the third time while we're here. The same, the one that's uh, right on the lake. Uh, it's uh, my favorite restaurant here because, uh, in my opinion, the location of it is the best. It's the only restaurant here that's the deck of which is right on the lake. Yesterday we were there and we were sitting right there in a little balcony. It's also very nice, but this one is the best. So I got myself a coffee rough and I'm waiting for uh, my oatmeal and uh, this time I'm not gonna have uh, sparkling wine for breakfast I think I've had enough wine while I'm here but I will have some later today for dinner or lunch In this town everything is with wine, including the ice cream we are going into the gallery of light right now and normally it's something I would skip in the Brown du so, but since it was included in our yesterday's ticket uh, for the wine factory excursion we're gonna go there and uh, I hope it will be cool and otherwise if you want to pay to go inside it costs 500 rubles so let's go The Light Gallery of Abrao is one of the few centers presenting the most advanced art forms that exist nowadays. It features audiovisual installations that immerse visitors into a real universe of media art. It's not just a creative gallery, but a journey into the art world of the future, where video, sound and light are connected. Here you can listen, watch, interact and travel to other worlds, in a way. We're done with the light gallery, 
and it was okay. Uh, it did not impress me that much because I visited something like this in Singapore and it was way cooler and also things like that can only impress you once. So for those who never visited a place like this before, I think they will enjoy it. But for me it was whatever. And now I'm not sure what we're gonna do because it's super hot outside and we've done pretty much all the activities possible for a brown so except the paddle boarding which we're gonna do later in the evening when the heat will cool down a bit so i guess we're just gonna continue chilling we came to the official Abrao Durso wine store, the same, <laughs> the same store they took us to yesterday after the wine tasting, but we didn't want to buy anything just yet, so we're gonna buy something today, we're gonna get a few bottles for home to bring to our family as a gift, so let's choose some wine. It's a huge and very pretty store with so many variety of wines from regular to premium ones. This is the Rosé, the one I was drinking at every restaurant, so I'm definitely gonna grab a couple of bottles of this one. Such pretty bottle gift box. That's the wine that I wanted to try here the whole time, Riesling, but I didn't know it would be that expensive. After the wine store, we came to that restaurant, Grand Café Abrao Durso, as we planned. And since it was already almost 4 p.m., we were supposed to have our last meal of the trip in this restaurant. But we were told that the wait time for the main course would be 45 minutes, so we had to leave, unfortunately. Otherwise, we wouldn't have any time left for other activities. But at least I got to try this Riesling wine there, which was so good, but it cost almost $10 for one glass. Sonia and I just went to our final lunch slash dinner into a fish restaurant and we're waiting for our food now with this amazing view to the sailing club and the lake and uh, after that if I have time uh, I will do paddle boarding but if not we're just gonna walk around this area a little bit it's another part of the lake uh, not really far from where we usually are walking uh, but this one, this part is even more chill than the other one and if I have time I will show it to you and for now we're just gonna enjoy our food after we receive it. <laughs> And the water in this lake is so warm. It's so much warmer than the sea and just overall it was a great experience. I absolutely loved it. It was chill, nice and relaxed. <laughs> that same evening we took the train back to the Gamis and by morning we were back home already. And that was the end of our trip. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. For me, it was one of the best trips of the summer. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Oh, всем привет! Мы снимаем мукбанг. В сегодняшнем мукбанге я ем печенье зеленое. Стины болотные.